were stuck at the train. Isn't that cool? You see the train going by. Guys, it's Ron and Marcy here from Off Road Overland Camping, and we're gonna check out the, the geyser, the mud geyser is what they call it. And I guess they, those guys we met just said it traveled, right? The yeah. geyser actually travels. Traveled from the other side of the um, the other side of the railroad tracks, and it's traveled over to this side. So let me uh, turn the camera around. I'll show you where it comes. So the mud geyser traveled from over there on the other side of the railroad tracks. It's already taken out the railroad tracks. Here it's taken out Highway 111, because we're walking on 111 right now. You never get to see this kind of stuff, so it's pretty interesting when you get to see it in person. I so, didn't know that geysers travel. Yeah, I think what happens is it eats away the, the earth. Water. Here's the geyser as it comes out of the earth, and it has to go somewhere, so it keeps traveling. Yeah, Don't go down there and touch it. <laughs> no idea. And don't get too close to the edge because it'll sink in. You can see how it's uh, cut away the ground. Another geyser. And the problem is, is they don't know how they're gonna fix it. Because you can't really fix it. Well, 
those are the old pipes. Yeah. Sewage. What it smells like is that wicked sewage. Can't <laughs> let you go to the uh, plants up there by Huntington, Huntington Beach. Yeah, it's sulfur though. Ooh. Oh my god, the smell is horrendous. It just smells like sulfur. Sulfur or rotten eggs and farts. It's the worst fart you ever smell in your life. See, look at that. All that water. So that's pretty interesting seeing the mud geyser as it just comes out of the ground. The water is just not really going anywhere. It just kind of comes up and I guess it goes back into the ground, but it just keeps eating away the highway as it moves closer towards uh, the Salton Sea. So, and from what I understand, they don't really have any way of fixing it other than just closing off the road and once it passes, then they'll fix the road. So, it's pretty interesting though. Something to see. If you're out here on Highway 111. Kind of cool. <laughs> 